Okay, just wanted to pop you over real quick to the site that I had found uh, a, a large amount of different thesis design customizations, which is Art of the Blog, or Art, Art of Blog. It's got 180 different thesis design customizations, and th that was real cool. There's definitely other sites out there that have, you know, some different customization views, but y you just couldn't beat this one with having a, a bunch of them together. And they did a great job on this blog post, and uh, so if you're looking for different thesis themes, uh, different ideas, definitely go to this site and check this out. Uh, but like I, I said in my post, the one that I liked caught my attention right off the bat was this uh, A Broadening, which was the first one on the list. And so I'm going to pop over there quick and look at it for, and we're going to take a look at it. I'm just going to point out some of the things that I liked about it, and uh, you know, and and then we're going to get into how I uh, figured out how to uh, customize it and make it happen. What I really liked, uh, number one, the header is really cool, and as uh, as I go further into this series, I'm going to show you how I figured out how to do uh, a lot of these graphics, which was real cool, a lot of fun, and uh, definitely took me to a different level in my graphics design. But as far as the fundamental layout of of, the, of this theme that I really liked was number one, the navigation uh, tabs have been moved over from the left sidebar or the right sidebar, you can find a lot of, uh, um, you know, posts out there talking about how to uh, do different things with the navigation bar. But it was really difficult to find something that uh, showed me how I can move them away from the edge, and I thought that was key because you don't see a whole lot of thesis themes with the navigation bars moved away from the edge. The other thing I liked about it was how the edges were rounded on the content and the uh, sidebars on all of the boxes and uh, then to finish it all off at the bottom how the footer has been changed actually moved over uh, I don't think I moved mine over but um, but I did change and, and alter the the um, text of the footer and last but not least, stuff that you don't see, uh, which I had to figure out how to get rid of, is the stuff that out of the box themes is some some lines. You got double lines underneath the header, and then you got a single line. Uh, usually, it comes with a navigation bar and other lines in your sidebars and and whatnot. And I'm going to show you some code that basically gets rid of all of the lines, strips them all off. And uh, one of the points that was made as I was kind of cruising through the web was that uh, any real good thesis customization is going to have the lines stripped away. So we're going to get into that. Thanks.